Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Mungo's World of Weather. Clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for March 26th through April 7th. March 26th and 30th, the, uh, the pattern is forecast to progress slowly eastward. We have a ridge here south of the Aleutians, a trial fair over uh, western, much of western North America. We have another trough here, and we have a ridge in between. And you're looking at the GFS, and this is how the patterns forecast to look like, and the models in good agreement. And we go through each day, and you see the pattern slowly progressing. This trough lifts out. This ridge slides eastward. This ridge also slides to the, to the east. And this trough here will also be pushed eastward in time. So we're at the 30th. Some of the models are not loading, so you have to just take my word. We're looking at some of them. So this is how it looks. Gulf moisture will flow on the western side of the eastern ridge. And this result in heavy rainfall across the central and southern plains. Rainfall could be excessive from the southern plains into the Tennessee Valley. March 29th to April 2nd. Here we are at the 30th. Now this ridge has sink further south and eastward. We have a trough here. We also have a trough further out in the Western Atlantic and we have a ridge in the east. The miles in good agreement. We go to April 2nd. Now this ridge also now will be sinking southward into the plains. So uh, for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here and here. Forecasting anomalies be about four degrees above normal and above normal temperatures forecast here with the trough. Forecasting anomalies be about four degrees below normal. For precipitation, forecasting above normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 45% and we have above normal precipitation forecast across much of this area and the probability of occurrence is 50 percent now as we go further into april this is april 3rd to the 7th we take a look at the models here we are at the third now uh, we have very strong positive height anomalies centered near the bering sea and near russia and this will favor a trough to, to sink further southward. And this will lead to very cold temperatures across um, the Northern Rockies eastward into the Great Lakes region. And we have a broadside kind of flow across much of the nation here. We still have our ridge here, a ridge, has high anomalies here. And we go to the seventh, very deep, uh, low, low heights here and then we try to look at some of the other models that's about the best we can do show you this so uh, during this forecast period i am forecasting above normal temperatures here probability of occurrence or probability the uh, the anomalies are forecast to be about four degrees above normal. And then we have below normal temperatures across much of this area here. And the anomalies across this area here would be greater than 10 degrees below normal due to the ridge near uh, the Bering Sea. And to a lesser extent, anomalies would be about four degrees below normal here in parts of the east for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 45% and above normal precipitation forecast for this region here. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 45%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion from March 26th to April 7th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mungo's World of Weather and have a good day.